the worst case scenario, again, which comes from relatively few researchers, the data seem to indicate that someone who has used a cell phone for over 10 years, at least 30 minutes a day, has a slightly increased risk of a rare form of brain tumor called a glioma. Now, again, to put this into proper perspective, glioma's uh, overall risk is roughly 0.3%. One in 300 people somehow going to be affected during their lifetime by such a tumor. Uh, of course, it's very unfortunate for that one person, but in terms of disease pattern, I mean, this is, this is very rare. I mean, let's face it, I mean, eventually everyone gets something. Nobody gets out of life alive, right? So, you know, the fact that there's a risk, I mean, you know, the risk of death is 100%, right? So, uh, the brain tumor risk from glioma is very, very small, 0.3%. The studies that I mentioned show an increased risk of 40% in gliomas in people who use cell phones a lot. That sounds terrible. People say, 40% increase in risk? Where's the garbage can? I want to throw out my cell phone. But an increase in a small risk, even a large increase in a small risk, still leaves you with a very small risk. So a 40% increase in 0.3 just gives you 0.4, which is still a very, very small risk. Not zero risk, but a very small risk. Everything in life has a risk associated with it. And the analogy that I very often use to, to bring this home, which I think people can relate to, is umbrellas in the rain. There's absolutely no doubt that if you open your umbrella in the rain, you increase your chance of getting hit by lightning significantly, probably several hundredfold. Okay? Does anyone worry about this? No, because the risk to start with is so infinitesimal that even if you increase that many fold, you're still dealing with a very, very small risk. But one of the biggest risks is worrying about risks because stress can be very damaging to, to people. And I find that, you know, these days people worry so much about dying that they forget about living and they're focusing on all of these minor risks in their life, you know, instead of enjoying this one shot that you have and making sure that you maximize your life by exercising and by eating right and by taking the proper preventative measures, you know, and going for the appropriate checkups. That's what you do to maximize uh, your longevity. And uh, worrying about uh, mythical risks is, is not the way to go.